So today I was just kind of feeling like a latent hunt, and I thought I'd do multiplayer because why not? I mean, we do a lot of multiplayer. It's usually good fun. Like, I just like being on a different map. And I just like threw my binoculars across this group of ducks. There's the level three. And I saw the three come up. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to try to get into like 150 if I can. And then we'll go for that. But like, honestly, we're going to see if we can get golds. I mean, we've been working towards the 5,000 uh, for a while now. I think we're somewhere in the area of like 150 away. But that's not going to be the focus. I want to just get stuff for the trophy lodge. But any goals we can get along the way, we're definitely going to go for as well. But we're looking at, yeah, still 200, so I'm going to scoot a little closer, hopefully. Alright, so I don't want to spook them, because shooting them flying from that far is kind of difficult. But hopefully we can just get that. That should work. And if they're just going to stay, never mind. I was going to see if I could get one of the twos for a gold. Though I did say I didn't want to, like, spam ducks to add to my gold count, so we'll just kind of let them go, I think. But that's always a nice start. Nice little 959 diamond duck. Since we have like the, uh, basically one lodge for all of North America, there's going to be plenty of room for those, so we'll take those. What are you doing? Just chilling there, apparently. Just get that along the way, because why not? But actually, let's look at the gold counter real quick. We're at 4865, so yeah, 135 away. Like, it's going to go really, really fast. Uh, getting up there to 5,000, so anything we can add, like I said, is going to be good, but really I'm looking for Trophy Lodge stuff. That said, I do believe that's a gold, so since we're kind of heading that way, we're going to just hopefully go for that. That should be just fine, so we'll take those. But yeah, so got a diamond already for our Trophy Lodge. Get a little bit of a start to adding golds to that counter as well. I mean, that's definitely a mythical bear. I'm trying to figure out where he actually ran, because these tracks are a little confusing. Generally, they run, like, down this hill and somewhere into the open. And I think that maybe is what he's doing. I want to get him anyway, because he's probably, like, maybe 920, something like that. Man, he's a blonde as well. I really want a color phase diamond. And that's, like, kind of close. But yeah, we're going to get that. We'll get it for the gold, and I may even mount it and stick it somewhere in the Leighton Lodge for now, because I'm kind of lacking on the Black Bear in there. That must be him. Hopefully that shot's going to be enough. Maybe I can hit him again. Yeah, I think he just went down, actually. But, uh, yeah, I spotted a different level 4 bear. Count him up through here, so... I'm not sure, but I can't imagine that's... Yeah, that's going to be him. So yeah. I think I might as well mount that. I don't know for sure if I even have room for it, but... I'll probably put it somewhere. Like, 915 blonde's actually kind of cool. I think... I did shoot a really big mythical blonde, like... Maybe right before Trophy Lodge just came out, but... That's probably my second biggest blonde black bear anyway. But honestly, I'm kind of glad we found that bear, because this lake is a bit of a letdown. But uh, why not? We're going to play roulette with the ducks since you can't have any idea if they're going to make gold or not. We'll see if we can get a gold out of that because might as well shoot something while we're at this lake, I guess. So he actually was. 827 is not bad. And I think we're going to go up to this lake and check it out. So that could be a thing. I'm actually kind of surprised he noticed me at that range. I don't really know what had him alert, but... We'll take that, and kind of try to watch, see if anything fled, or look what else is here. Yeah, hey, there we go. Another four, so, I mean, why not? Might as well take what we can get while we're here. But yeah, a little 890 out of that first one, and I think the other one's actually a little smaller. That's actually a four two, so... I mean, I'm almost going to be all the way over there claiming the other one. Might as well get it. Hopefully this will work. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that'll be fine. But yeah, 841 for that one. He's actually got really two more times than the other one, though. But uh, we'll go and get this one. And then I do want to, before elk drink time ends, go up to these two lakes. Because I've kind of like... It's probably because I've gotten 
at least like three pretty big elk in the last couple of weeks, but I'm suddenly interested in trying to get more either rares or diamonds, whatever. So I do want to go check that, but this one is up here, so we'll go and pick up that gold. I'm not even keeping track of how many we have, but I feel like we're actually doing quite good on uh, that as well. Somehow that's higher scoring than the one we just shot. All right, wouldn't have expected that, but let's head to the elk spot. You know, that probably could be a gold. I'm kind of just waiting on some elk to come back because there is one or two big ones. All right, we'll just get that and then maybe summon them. Yeah, that's one of the ones. All right, let's see how good we are at this game. If he trots, which he might not do, I have no idea if we got that. We absolutely did. All right, nice. So there was one other pretty good one. I don't think I want to really press my luck. I think we'll just stick with the one we got, but uh, yeah, that worked pretty good. Shoot a rabbit and all the elk come running. And actually, he's the biggest one as well, because I think I got all their tracks. The 459 is definitely the biggest. He's 907, so not too bad. And that rabbit's just down here. And he was just a silver, but basically led to immediately getting a gold, so we'll take that. Well, that is a level 4 blacktail, so might as well get that real quick. And I want to see, like, what else is down here, because I know there were elk, and I don't know, like, where they went. It's actually a bigger four, and that... Okay, I shot one that looked a lot like that. I think that's in, like, the 915 to 920 range. The thing is, their zone's, like, over. So I kind of want to just maybe hang with him a little bit if I can. Like, try to keep the distance as low as possible, and then if he turns... Uh, and stops, maybe we can just kill him, because I don't know where he's going to want to go. I don't really remember where elk feed down here. It might just be by the water. I honestly don't know for sure, but... He did stop. Now, can we actually get a shot with our heart rate being decent? Man, he, if he could have just stayed broadside, that would have been perfect. Can't get at the spot. I mean, maybe he wants to come back this way anyway. If I could actually just have him spotted. Eh, I think he's going to come back, so let's not rush it. And you know what? Now is going to be as good a time as any. I've never really tried soft points on the elk, so let's do that. And just kind of see... How that performs, it's got to be fine, because I didn't even get to spot him in time. But, um, I mean, it works on Moose, I always figured, but I never tried it. And, like, with that level 5 that we shot maybe, like, two or three videos ago, I just didn't want to risk it, because I didn't know, like, 100% for sure. But now we do, because, like, there's no doubt that was full quick kill. And they pretty much died side by side here. So we got a, actually, a lost little quick kill, but 848 Blacktail. And like I said, this should be like 920-ish, I think. 932 even. I don't know if I like those antlers enough. I mean, I have the hallway of antlers thing going on. We might as well keep those. Throw them somewhere in there, but that's even a lot bigger than I thought he would be. That's actually a decent whitetail, and honestly, that's probably a gold too. Maybe we can get both, I don't know. It's going to be tough to, like, manage the recoil and get a shot that far away. But he will stand up. So if I spot... Oh, gosh, I don't know if I can spot him. Yeah, that doe's going to be in the way. That's going to make it really difficult, but I'm going to keep the doe spotted. So, like, I know where to look. Then I want that one. And, yeah, he ran too quickly, but... At least we got the bigger one. And a 84 for him, so not too bad. All right, this is too cool. We have an albino jackrabbit here, and I do want to make sure there's nothing else here, so let's go ahead and get that, hopefully. Sweet. All right, so I've never had an albino jackrabbit 
in my trophy lodge. I killed one probably like within a few weeks of the original trophy lodge coming out, but I never actually got one since then. So that's really cool. And it's a level one, which I think my other one was as well. I'd really love to get a mail uh, for the multi map, but that's still really, really neat. And we just have to get some screenshots of this as well. So want to try to get that grass to go down. Kind of a better spot than where I killed my other one. But yeah, we got an albino 650. I think my other one was 666, so a little bit smaller. But still really, really neat. I just love the albino rabbits. They just stand out so much. Like, that's going to look great in the lodge. But actually, I think I do want to probably wrap up here. So let's go and take a look there. But yeah, that was actually like a really good hunt. I stuck the albino rabbit here in like the main room. Just so, I don't know, this is kind of where I've got all the good stuff. And I like it. And I couldn't put it here. It has to be a male rabbit for that multi-mount. So that was kind of unfortunate. But we got a new diamond duck. That one's just up here on the wall. And we got an addition to our antlers kind of hallway. Put the elk right there. So honestly, I need to get rid of probably this moose. That's sort of a placeholder. And I do want to take down the bear and the bison. Do something different with them. And then I'm going to have to do something different with this piebald because I still want to do just antlers for that. But we're actually really starting to get progress with that. And I like it. Like, I really like the the way this one turned out. It's just really neat. So I'm looking forward to actually getting that done. But for now, I think that's actually going to do it. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.